Hey guys, welcome back to more home safety hotline. Got some new mail. Wait, what does that say? Whoa. Thea hole is branch head or breach head. Repeat the hole. Something is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. Do not come to the F hole. <laughs> who, who, who is emailing me? Is it this guy right here? Yeah, I think it's this guy. All right, buddy. I won't. I won't come there. Regarding your week schedule this week, due to shortage of available staff. We need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Ah, oh, man. I don't get the weekend off? That sucks. Hey. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is Tamed River Root. Oh, really? I save, I don't even know how much, 200 bucks? <laughs> I don't even want a river root. Why would I want that? Rooting for you. There you go. I'll take it. Interesting. I think we already watched all these videos, so I think we'll just start the day. But yeah, well, guys, welcome back. It is, I think it's Friday today. Yeah, Friday. Sucks we have to work Saturday and Sunday. But we'll do it. Hopefully we'll get some overtime hours. But I bet they'll find a way to screw us over. I think this is HR. Let's see. Yeah, HR. Carol here. No, 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 supervisor. My accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Thank you. New profit. Pro right, new animation. Jeez. <laughs> what the hell is that? Animations are miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animation mostly com most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night or mi and missing or stolen household objects. There's no sound for it. Oops, there. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap I assume yeah. so tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property so a tree that's covered in fabric and some kind of black liquid interesting please hold it I remember that. Well, I don't remember that, but I hear. I remember hearing about that. People used to think Dungeons and Dragons was a Satan worship, worshiping cult. It's funny. Dreamweaver. What the hell is this? Large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. All right, it's not that. False flower. Long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common household plants. Indoor plant, potted plants disguising themselves among flowers. It's not that. It has to be like a tree. Cobalt. That's a new one. Five foot humanoid tall creatures with dog faces. I remember reading something about it. Tree. Maybe like a flower? Sprig tree here. What's this? Jeez. Rapidly growing like tree or or tree-like organisms that take root in a human body 
They are known to cause structural damage to, to a home as they continue to grow. Never mind. Sprig vines. Rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. Not that. Trash gnome. Jeez. Alright, not that. Wine spirit. Or sprite. I think... Wait, let me see. Um... False rosebush. It could be this. Two small humanoid feet. No, it has to be a tree. Any of these are, are any of these trees? Closet labyrinth. <laughs> Just takes you to the back rooms. Jeez. Um, it has to be outside, and a tree. So it has to be one of these cellular growth, cellular grotto. No. Fay feast, no. It's to be inside. Floor roots, no. Dang tree in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn fabric and some kind of black liquid. I think the black liquid is key here. Did we read anything about black liquid? Mice, mirror nymph. No. Portal. No, not that. Rain nymph, what the hell is this? Soap sprite. I have no idea, guys. This one's tough. Wood secretions? No. Causing a stick, sticky pooling buildup. I have no idea, guys. Bogart? No. Bogart's an actual, like, metamorphosized hob, I think. Maybe like, what's a cellar, cellar grotto again? Humidity in the home, noble increase in large be beetles, frogs, related pests. Cellar growth, dark damp environments. Dreamweaver, I already read about that one, it's a spider. I think it might be a sprig tree, guys. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, guys, it's a sprig tree. And look, uh, her missing teenager, that's that's uh, the sprig tree. So it com completely enveloped him with uh, the vines or the... The roots. Yeah, this it has to be a sprig tree, guys. It has to be. And look, it says black liquid right here. Black substance that leaks from under... From un from them under any circumstance. All right, we got it. Sprig tree. That took me a while to figure out, but we got it. I'm sorry your son is probably probably dead. He's probably dead. I don't even think you can do anything about that. Do not touch the infected person. Yeah, they're dead. Quarantined while other occupying the household should vacate the premise immediately. So yeah, just get out of that house. You're screwed. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. 
I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? I think I remember this call. Clattering. Clattering and then droppings, but it's spotless. Please hold. All right, hold up, buddy. It might be an animation then. Hearing clattering noises at night or missing or stolen objects. Alright, I'm I think this I'm gonna go with an animation, guys. I think we've been saying gnome this whole entire time. It might be a gnome. Cause it could be like a kitchen gnome. Or a kitchen Maybe a kitchen sprite or, or hob. Kitchen sprite. Or sorry, kitchen hob. Trash gnome. Burrowing inside them for good for both food and shelter. Home owners of trash gnomes are often report the smell of rotten eggs. Okay, never mind, it can't be that. I think the sprites are the no the the hobs are the ones that clean and Clean up after themselves. Alright, I think I'm pretty sure it's this animation. Let's go with animation. Let's look for any dolls that are out of place that you haven't seen before. I know of every single doll. Puppet or marionette that's in my house. There's one that I haven't seen before, then I know it's an animation. I should get rid of it or move out. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services, and not a week later, I'm still getting break ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Alright, that's interesting. They break into the greenhouse and then taunt you with singing. Please hold. So maybe it's some kind of dream weaver. What's this again? This. It's a spider. Alright, not that. Maybe... Not a memory wisp. Rain nymph? During rainstorms, they're faint humanoids with the glow, glow in their eyes. All right, we need somebody. Need something that sings and likes greenhouses. Whistling fungi. Are small mushroom like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. So it can't be that. Um, uh, seedlings, rain nymph, snow, night wisps. Bright floating lights. They're known for hovering outside windows at night and whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. So it's not that. Night gnome. Middle of the night. Report heavy breathing sounds during the late hours. What does that even sound like? Jeez. All right.
It's a cobalt again. Home and homeowners infested with cobalts will so sometimes report broken floor floorboards. Um, nope, not that. Maybe like a false flower. Oh, here we go. Vaguely resemble common household plants. They're known to take the root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. It could be this. She said something about a greenhouse, though. Yeah. Jeez. Imagine hearing that at, in the middle of the night. Alright. False flowers are harmless if, if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they take in root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. See, still getting break-ins. Mentored prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. So I think, I'm, I'm thinking that it's a false flower. That's the only thing that makes sense. I think we're doing good. I, I don't know. We'll find out at the end of the day, I guess. Oh. Hey, Flipper here. Is this guy? I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. You know what I mean? What? Leave me alone, buddy. Your prank phone calls are not even that funny. the hell happened jeez alright I didn't I didn't like the guy but I didn't think he should have should have died alright I guess we'll, we won't get prank phone calls from him anymore <laughs> from flipper yeah that what, what was that sound I swear I've heard that one before Maybe it's like a dream weaver or something. One of those n n nymphs. Right. Hey, Carol. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yeah, that was Flipper. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. <laughs> a blight upon thee? Do people... Supervisor positions talk like that. All right, Carol. Thank you. See, this is a rain nymph. Forbidden for action and sufficient privileges. What was that? I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? All right, so something flew into your house. Insect. Big, nasty thing flew in through the window. 
electrocuted itself. Now you smell burning. Please hold. All right. I did read something about burning. Um. Oh, some of these are broken. Damn. I'm gonna have to know this one then. It could be a house fire. What are your 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 house is on fire? Come on. Uh I can't remember which ones cause the burning smell. Damn buddy, I don't think I'm gonna be able to help him. Unless I know for sure what it is. I can't remember. Dreamweaver. Has to be like an insect type creature. Rosebush. House fires. I could tell him that just to get out of this house if he smells burning. <laughs> Which one was it though? Was it. Was it a gnome? It could have been. The trash gnome, right? So, uh, what did it say? S smelling something. I think it might be it. No, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna guess and say trash gnome, guys. And I, I could either be this or uh, house fire. House fire makes the most sense. But screw it, I'm doing trash gnome. Hey buddy, you got yourself a trash gnome. Why does this keep breaking? I think I know what that is. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please hold. I think I know what that is. Floor root. Yeah. They wrap themselves around various objects or humans in the vicinity. All right. I think I got you, buddy. I got you. Got you. All right, now, now it works. Let me see. Fake bit my hand. I was just turning off one of our lamps, and it it latched on and bit me. What was that thing? Oh, why do I feel sick? Oh no. It's back. Get away, you nasty thing! Oh no. It was a lamp sprite, guys. Damn. Oh yeah, it was a lamp sprite, guys. I, I couldn't say but why did I think it was a trash gnome? Damn it. It it, 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 it it stole me! It stole me! I'm I'm not me anymore. I'm it, he, 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 he took me! He took me! I can't see my Alright, please hold. Please hold. Um I think I know what that is. I think it it is. It's not a memory. We've it might be a memory wisp. They steal people's memories. We'll often report missing pictures and photo albums and the inability to remember faces of loved ones. That's she's talking about herself though. Rain nymph. Lead to water damage. Could it be a dream weaver? 
Large spider-like creatures. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. Never mind. Something to do with like mem stealing memories. Mirror nymph. Subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners are afflict afflicted by mirror nymphs, commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Okay, I think it's a mirror nymph. It stole me, it stole me, not, I'm not me anymore. Alright. I think it's a mirror nymph, guys. I might be wrong here. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations, provide no nobody looks into the mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Mirror nymphs, although nu nuance, are not a direct danger to humans. Ramona. Druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Jeez, Ramona. All right, Ramona. I think I can help you. Metal scrap and other nasty things. Ne use needles and cans. Please hold. It does sound like maybe a gnome? Heavy breathing sounds. Sleeping quarters of humans watch them while they sleep. I right, know, not them. A trash gnome? Wait, what did I say? Why did I say trash them? I, I still <laughs> can't believe I said that. That was the worst advice ever. Should have told them house fire. That would have been better. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient or painful circumstances. Um, thick brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes. Known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside. Throughout the house, tipped garbage cans and loud crunching sounds at night. She didn't say anything about a smell. She said, uh... Cans, needles. This is like garbage. Um... Do animations leave anything? Missing or stolen household objects. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function. Can't be that. Attic gnome? Nest in attics will often report knocking or rapping sound coming from the ceiling. Alright, can't be that. Bogart? Apparently, someone was saying in the comments of my last video that one of the people I was calling described a, a Bogart and I missed it. Sucks, I, I missed that one. I missed the, that guy too with the lamp sprite. I've killed two people working here. But I feel like I've saved other people. Dreamweaver, no. Frozen pipes, the horde. What is this one again? Known collect and store large quantities of common ho household refuse. Oh, here we go. What the hell? Hordes tendency to store vast quantities of trash in a home make them prone to spreading disease. Rotten food, used syringe, rusty metal are among the more common household hazards. Here we go. How the hell do you get rid of a horde? 
It's advised to sell one's home at the first sight of the horde's presence to make the re relocation process go over more smoothly to prevent the horde from gathering its, in its one's home. It's advised that to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention. There you go. Got a horde problem. Maple, what's up? Yeah, there's some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Alright. Bright lights. I think... Please hold. I think I know what that is. Night wisps are subspecies of wisps in the form of bright floating lights. They hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. He didn't say anything about hearing anything though. Flashlights or something and keep flashing these bright lights through our, our windows at night. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Night Wisps. I think it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Night Wisps. You didn't say anything about rain? I, I was thinking maybe a rain, a rain wisp or a rain sprite, or is it? Rain Nymph. If our faint humanoids with glow in their eyes. Oh, asking to be let in. Alright. No, I think it's a Night Wisp. It's a Night, wi night Wisp. There you go. There you go, buddy. Just don't listen to them. Just ignore it. Wear a sleeping mask. Hey, Patty. Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, oh, that's a portal. I think... I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so... So nice. Don't do it, lady. Please hold. That's a portal. Definitely a portal. Yeah, we could hear that in the background too when she was calling. A strong desire to enter. Lady, get out of there. Solution. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, and other common building materials. The, the seal should be airtight. Does not allow anything from to come inside. Hey, Jules. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still got to hiding in here maybe let me see tenon drills or tenant or like tenon drills a squid like squid or something in my bathroom all right please hold 
It could be... Where is it? What is it called again? We got so many of these. A soap Sprite? Yeah, right there. Soap Sprites are a substance of Sprite. They're known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap. There you go. Soap, spr soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose by, of by the by way of tongs or uh, grabbing utensils. Oh yeah, it spreads fey flu. You don't want that. It's like you got a soap sprite. There you go. 80%. Damn, what? I bet. Yeah, okay, we for sure got the lamp sprite incorrect. That was for sure incorrect. But we did pretty good. 80%. Can't complain. Let's clock out. There we go. Alright, well, I think this is where we're going to end it, guys. We'll take a look at our mailbox in the Thunder Peak MV next video. Wait, was that lady? Was this person there before? I don't think it was. Or whatever that is. Pretty sure that wasn't there before. Yeah, pretty sure. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.